Today we're going to review part number 25580. This is the True Ride trailer wheel bearing. It can be used as an inner or outer bearing. These replacement trailer bearings are high quality tapered roller bearings designed for high speed use. All bearings will have an industry standard number regardless of the brand. And what you want to look for when you're replacing the bearing on your spindle is if you look on the inner ring of the bearing, there will be a number stamped. In this case, it's 25580. On yours, it could have a different number depending on the brand of bearing you have. But if you just give us that number, we'll be able to cross-reference it to the correct bearing you would need. If you don't have access to that number, the next way you'd be able to get the correct bearing is you would have to measure the inner diameter of this bearing. That is the critical measurement. And to do that, you would need to use a digital caliper because the measurement would be uh, taken out to thousandths of an inch. So it has to be an accurate measurement. So you can't use a ruler or a tape measure. So in this case, if we put the digital caliper on the inner portion, that would measure 1.750 inner diameter. Now this bearing will consist of three components. The inner ring or the cone, the roller bearings, and then the bearings are retained in a roller retainer or a cage. Now there is one other component that is needed and that is the bearing race. The bearing race is the part that the bearing will sit in and rotate the bearings on this side. And that is sold separately. For this one you would need, for this part you would need the part number 25520. And the bearing, and on the bearing race the important measurement is the outer diameter, which on that bearing race would be 3.265 to fit this bearing. Now these bearings do use a wheel bearing grease or in oil to lubricate them. And that should do it for review on part number 25580.